Hi, we had a video on what a literature review is and how Zotero may help you. But now, the question is how to populate my Zotero library or in general, where can we search for research articles? Here, we will introduce you several databases. One of popular academic databases today is Scopus. But for Scopus, you need subscription, usually provided by your university or an institute. So we are not going to talk about Scopus. We are looking for publicly accessible databases that everyone can access and use without need of having an account or an institutional access or paying any fees. Now, you may think of Google Scholar, but again, it is not in our today list. Google Scholar automatically adds items to its database from internet which might not be a research article or a book or a referred published work. Let's look at some examples. Here we have the items listed by Google Scholar for a specific author. Of course, it has several journal papers, such as this one published at Letters in Biomathematics, or this one published at BMC Bioinformatics. However, what is this one? Let's find the original file. As you see, it is just slides of a talk at a seminar. Or let's check this one. It is a poster presentation. So in most of the cases, Google Scholar is not the database you should go for it. Here in this Wikipedia page, you can find a list of academic databases. It also tells you if they are free or you need subscription and a few more useful information such as the size of the database or who is providing this database. I'm not going to talk about all of these, but instead I'm going to introduce you only for databases. You can later go through this Wikipedia list and see if there are more databases that suit your purpose. All the links to the pages you saw and will see in this video are provided in the description below the video. The first database is called Internet Archive Escola, which has more than 25 million research articles. It has a very easy and straightforward guide about how you can do advanced search in this database. It's true that it has only one field to type something for the search, but using its query syntax, you can use more than one keyword and do some restrictions such as only checking a given range of years. Let's try a few searches. I type hypergraph coloring but because I want these two words appear exactly right after each other I surrendered them by quotation mark then a space and I type year colon greater than 1989 this is to restrict our search to the works published after the year 1989. Then one space and I type type colon article dash journal. And you can guess the functionality of this part. So we are only searching among journal articles. Press enter and we get 56 results. You can see a highlight for each item which shows an example of appearance of the search keyword in the text of each paper. You also get link to the original publication and you can get 
the citation information. Now let's modify our search by adding space quotation biology. So we are asking results that also contain the word biology. The outcome narrows down to only two items. Just for fun, let's ask results which do not contain the word biology. So we add an exclamation mark before biology. This time, there are 54 hits, which is what you expect. 56 minus 2. You should be careful that some search engines are spelling sensitive. That means if instead of the British OU spell for color, I use the American only O spell for color, then instead of 56 for hypergraph coloring, I will receive 274 hits. Clearly, you should also consider synonyms. A different group of researchers may use a different synonym word. Abbreviations are also tricky. For example, CAD for someone can stand for cylindrical algebraic decomposition, while for someone else can stand for computer-aided design or drawing. Let's move to another database, ACMDL or Digital Library of Association for Computing Machinery. This is another free database but for a narrower range of topics and it has more than half of a million articles. You can click on Advanced Search to have more options and it is good to read the short tips on the right side on your own time. Here we just repeat a similar search. Quotation, hypergraph coloring, and biology. We get one result. We also have the highlights, same as the previous place, and citation too. Let's do hypergraph coloring alone. This time we get more hits. You can also see a nice timeline graph. It is also possible to create a free account with any email address, not necessarily academic, to keep history of your searches. Moving to the third database, we have Taylor and Francis. It has more than 5 million articles and only searches among journals of this publisher. Click on Advanced Search. There is a short guide which you can read on your own time. If you need, you can restrict the search to a specific journal of Taylor & Francis, which I'm not going to do that. And I search again, you can guess, hypergraph coloring. If you have Zotero, then you can save the results of the search to your Zotero using the extension. But be careful that it only stores the items that are displayed in this page. So you need to move between the search result pages. But the good thing about Taylor & Francis database is that you can export the search result as a CSV file as far as the size of the search result is not more than 2000 items. It will ask you to log in and, of course, you can create a free account using an email address. And here you see that I logged in and the message about the size limit of the output CSV file. I already have one such CSV output on my computer, so let me show you that one. This is the file and I opened it with VS Code. If you're wondering how I could open a spreadsheet file with VS Code and not the Microsoft Excel, 
then watch another video of this channel which explains this as you see you get the title author journal volume issue pages the publication year do i first online access date and the url okay the last database for today is Bielefeld academic search engine or base it has more than 330 million items but not all of them are articles and books it has advanced search which is very straightforward and you can play around with it on your own time and you can see how you can restrict the search to only articles and books and not for example software it also allows you to create free account and save and export the search results before we end this video just another heads up for your future searches do not blindly count every items you get by these simple text searches here you see a journal article that clearly contains the text hypergraph however the authors use this term wrongly here the correct term for the object they are used in this work is weighted graph or labeled graph and not hypergraph which is an object similar to graphs but the edges in hypergraph can be any subset of the vertices set not necessarily of cardinal 2 therefore in many cases you need to go through the items yourself or at least checking the highlights to be sure that the expression you search is used with the same meaning that you intended so that is for today if you have any questions or you know another database that you would like to share with us please leave a comment